All right, Shalom. First, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakar Kadash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Moorstone who rule well, and Shalom to the elect. Uh, this is just a quick, um, quick lesson. Um, I was thinking about faith. Um, what happened was, well, you know, I, I went to watch um, the first purge in the cinemas, which, you know, um, one of the brothers um, was telling me about it, and that I've seen, you know, I know, I know, I know that there's Akim and around the, world, the globe that have seen it, you know, done videos on it. Uh, I haven't had a chance to check them all out, but um, yeah, I thought I'd go check it out myself, you know, and um, yeah, pretty much. I mean, it was, it was a, you know, it was a Hollywood movie, so it had a lot of, you know, shit bits in it or whatever. But it was pretty much showing, you know martial law and it was showing that that time of Jacob's trouble it was showing how Esau pretty much is a devil you know and um, one thing that I really thought about when I was watching that movie is like there was a scene where um, one of the characters called Isaiah he was basically kind of going out because he wanted to get revenge on this guy basically so he was going out in the purge uh, to, to basically um, avenge this uh, to basically he got hurt by him to kill him basically right but when he was out there, basically everywhere he was going, it was just like <laughs> he was getting, you know, scared and he was getting fucked up. And he realized, hold on a second, like he wasn't kind of ready. You know, he had his gun on his belt and he thought that he's going to be cool. And it made me think about all these guys that, you know, they don't have the faith of Yahweh Bash Shai, right? They don't, they don't have that covering. But you know, they, they're going on thinking that they're going to be able to save themselves in that day. You know, they think they're going to be able to just be cool. They're going to have a gun on their belt, a Kevlar vest, and that's going to be all right to, to, to you know, uh, you know, build basically saving them that saving themselves bullshit. You know that 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 mentality of you know they they can just uh, strong arm everything. But what you got to believe in is you got to believe in in Yahweh Bashmi Ashaya to protect you, man. Okay, and you got to call upon His name in that time. You know, we call upon His name continually. It says in uh, Proverbs eighteen and ten. Um, that the name of the Lord is a strong tower and the righteous run into it and are safe. And that's, that is really what's going to matter in that day, man. Okay, in, in the time of Jacob's trouble, when martial law troops are on the street, when there's rioting, looting, you know, gangs, people killing each other, you know, you got, you're going to have the different military troops that are on the street gunning people down. And in a movie, you know, I'm going to go into the scriptures in a bit, in a movie, um, what happened was, uh, you know, uh, Esau basically he was his, his government they were noticing that people weren't really like doing things so they were basically making things happen they were doing false flags they were sending in guys that had nothing to do with it to the, to the in a movie to Staten Island and uh, you know military guys mercenaries to go in and shake the place up you know these um, which they're going to do man they're going to do all those things and because um, the troops are going to come down on us man they got um, what do they call it agent provocateurs right now that are doing things man so you know, you gotta watch out for this devil. He's gonna do these things, and it's gonna be a really bad time, as if no time before, man. Like it says in Daniel 12 and 1. And you know what thing is gonna keep the one thing that's gonna keep us going is faith. Faith in Yahweh Shmi Ashai. Because in that time, your faith is gonna really be tried. I'm just gonna read this quick scripture. This is Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him so you, you know if you, it's plain and simple you gotta basically to, to, to pretty much to please the Lord you, you, you gotta have faith you gotta you gotta um, you gotta come to God in faith man you gotta come to Yahweh Shmi Shai in faith you gotta believe and that's what the Lord wants the Lord requires that belief man okay and you know what that belief isn't given to everyone, okay? Otherwise, everyone would just believe and they'd be cool. The Lord would, you know, look after everyone. But hey, as we know, there's the wicked and the heathen, you know, they're going to go into captivity and they're going to be slain by the sword. And also the wicked of our people, they're going to be slain by the sword, man, okay? And they're going to have to come back the right way in the kingdom. This is Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8. It says, For... For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God. So not, not of your own self trying to will, 
but it's the gift from Yahweh Hashem Shai that's giving you the faith to what to endure, and that gift is only for a few people, man. Okay, the elect, not for everyone. The elect of the nation of Israel, man. You so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and anyone else that descends through that line, back to the man Israel through their fathers, man. This is James chapter two, verse five. Hearken, my beloved brethren, have not God chosen the poor of this world, rich in faith, and heirs of the kingdom which He have promised to them that love Him? Now, what's going to happen at the end of this destruction, man? When the Lord comes back, He's going to what? He's going to establish the kingdom of heaven as the as the, as the, as, the, as the the top rulership, man, on the earth, man. Okay. And who's the Lord chosen? He's chosen what? The poor of the world, right? But the ones that are rich in faith. And I see um, that's the elect, man. Okay, the scriptures. That's why the Lord said, Blessed be ye poor, you know? For there's the kingdom of heaven, man. You know, let me. I don't want to mess that scripture up. Let me just read that quickly in Matthew 5. You know? Uh, it says, Matthew 5 and 3. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. That's right, man. Okay, I'm going to go back to James 2, because there's a bit more in this. So you need to jump down. Okay. And hey, the scriptures talk all about... The scriptures it talks all about faith, man. It gives different examples of, of men, great men in the past, and their faith that are showed towards Yahweh, Bashem, and And the Lord requires that, man. Otherwise, it's impossible to please Him. This is James chapter 2, verse 20. But wilt thou know... O vain man, that faith without works is dead. Now, how are you going to show that faith? You're going to show it through the works, right? Okay. Now, you now, for example, you might go on the highways and byways, okay, and make your body a living sacrifice. You know, whether you go out to listen to to, to the brothers and you, you take notes or you, or you teach, whatever the off, your your lot is or your office is, you're showing faith by doing that, man. Faith in Yahweh Hashem Yashay, and seeking your salvation with trembling and fear. But first, you got to believe to do that. And the Lord's given you that belief, man. So this is a thing where the Lord has chosen us. And we have not chosen him, man, as the scripture has said, man. Okay. It says, Was not Abraham our father justified by works when he had offered Isaac his son upon the altar? Right? It says, Seest thou how faith wrought with his works and by works was made, uh, works was faith made perfect? Because by doing that, by going through with what he was told to do, he showed that he had great faith in Yahweh Hashem Yashai. And what did the Lord do? The Lord sent an angel and stopped him from doing it, man. Okay, it was testing. It was a test of his faith. It says, and the scripture was fulfilled, which saith, Abraham believed Yahweh Hashem Yashai, and it was imputed unto him for righteousness, and he was called the friend of God. Ye see then how that by works a man is justified, and not by faith only. Okay, so it's gonna be a thing where. Is about faith, man. In this last trying times, the thing that's going to keep us is the faith, us believers, man. Believers in Yahweh Hashem Yashai, that the Lord is going to come what? Because what well, Yahweh Shai is the salvation, man. He's a savior. He's going to come to what? Redeem us, man. Okay? From the destruction to take it to, 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 to redeem us back to him and back to the Father. And he's going to save us, man, out of this destruction. And that's what we believe in. That's the thing that keeps us going. Um. But what about, hey, I'm going to get the scripture on, on the ones that don't believe, man. Okay, this is Deuteronomy 32 and 20. It says, and he said, I will hide my face from them. I will see what their end shall be. For they are a froward generation, children in whom is no faith. Right? Um, you know, when, uh, when the Lord did all those miracles, okay, when, uh, you know, the sea was parted, so the chariots and all that, you still had Jake's. That didn't want to believe, man. You still had Negroes, Hispanics, and you, Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans back then, out of the when the Exodus of Egypt was happening. We still wanted to go back to Egypt, man. You still wanted to bow down to these other nations, man. And that's why you got our people now that their faith, they believe in Esau, man. They believe in the carnal Esau realm, like what they believe in. They don't believe in Yahweh, Shemashah, and what's to come. They don't believe in the scriptures. This is Second Ezra chapter. 15 verse 4 For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness And the whole chapter 2nd Ezra 15 is pretty much going into the end times Pretty much going into the martial law and all that And it's plain man If you ain't got faithful, you're fucked 
you're going to be dead, man. You're going to die in your unfaithfulness, unfaithfulness, man. But what's the Lord going to do to the ones that do believe? Okay, let me close out on this scripture, man. It's Revelation chapter 3, verse 10. It says, Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth, man. That's talking about it. That's talking about the end times, man. Okay, the mark of the beast, you know, that 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 that, that temptation. Okay, <laughs> but hey, the ones that believe in Yahweh Hashem Yahshai and believe in His Word, those are the ones that are gonna are save, man. That's the elect, man. Okay, and we, you know, we. That, that's why we should pray for faith as the day approaches, man. That's something, something that the, the movie that I watched made me think about because I was I was afraid. I was thinking, man, you know, how am I gonna be okay in, in those days man you know I thought about it and I was like I just gotta pray for more faith man and I hope that the Lord protects me man and I do right you know but anyway I hope that's been uh, edifying uh, you know until the next lesson uh, you know shallow one